This project came to fore in 2015. Um, that was nine years after mobile money had been introduced and we were seeing that people really weren't using mobile money. Um, if they were, it was really for um, peer-to-peer payments um, and very simple transactions and not much else. Um, on the other hand, people have really rich relationships with the local businesses that they interact with. They're getting credit already from them. They're getting other types of financial services from them. Um, and so we wanted to take advantage of the fact that these small businesses are now starting to use smartphones to collect that data that was invisible before in terms of the transactions that they're seeing from their customers um, and really build a channel that's more natural um, that can connect to financial services but kind of leave the bank out of it so they can just go to the local businesses that they're used to going to um, and access services that make sense to them. Essentially, small businesses are already close to, to low-income populations. They're already giving them services, financial services, like store credit or some loans here and there. Um, so that's already working, but in an informal way. As smartphones start penetrating the whole economy, uh, these small businesses start digitizing themselves. So the idea behind Fiverr is to reuse their existing relationships with low-income populations for financial services and their newfound digital skills, combine the two and create a, more, a smart channel that is based on data and digital connections. Uh, reusing what already was working that these small businesses were doing, learning from them, but then taking them into a bigger place because now we have digital superpowers.